Hey guys, so you will not believe the changes that are happening around here. I have a little surprise, kind of a big little, but I will show y'all. It's kind of been a little crazy, but it is very, very, very exciting. So hold on, let me get this situation. This is Blair. <laughs> Say hi. Isn't she the sweetest? Oh my gosh, I could just eat her up. This is Blair. She is a beautiful German Shepherd to go with Cannon because he was lonely after the move. And um, she just about kills me every day. I mean, she's just the love of my life. I've had her for two days and you know, we've just already established that relationship. She loves to make a mess. A freaking massive mess. Oh, look how, I'm so proud of this. I did this myself. It was very hard. I'm gonna hang this up probably there with some uh, greenery. And then this is new, some Ray Dunn. Kind of nervous about it falling, but you know, I need to clean a little bit. But I don't think I've shown you all my kitchen. I'm gonna redo this sign because, you know, I've been practicing. <laughs> Obviously not the best. Here's Cannon. And my little Blair Bear. My blinds are crooked. <laughs> we just had a good little nap. Woohoo! It's a good stretch. No, just Blair. Come on. He's too rambunctious to go outside. No, Blair. Cannon, get down. proud of you. Good girl. You go potty. Like a good girl. I'm trying to praise her as much as possible to not go in the house. Because that's, you know, never fun. This is my little Blair Bear. She is a lazy little thing. My husband has already left grill marks. I am not happy about it. We're gonna have to get a pressure washer. Oh, I always trip over her. Here you go inside. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. Not for you. Good job. She's so cute. Ugh, I love her. And then, little or bigger news, we got a couch. Is our couch. This little Miss Blair likes to sleep on. Uh, it's my laptop. I've been working. Um, but this is our couch. Don't ask me where the blanket's from. Blair, leave him alone. He doesn't want to play. <laughs> Blair, come on. Good girl. So this is our new couch. So have some stuff laying around. Blair. She just wants to play. Blair, you gotta leave him alone. Look. Go get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, our couch has the blues to match the walls. Pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, I think it matches the house pretty well. This is totally temporary. I mean, ugh. And then this is all the previous owner's mail. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I need to put my Chanel up. But this is this. Our little setup for right now. What we're probably going to do is... I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to like angle the couch 
and then you get like a recliner or maybe like two like uh, accent chairs possibly. I really don't know. Let me know if you guys have any ideas what I should do with this space. Because I am living on Pinterest trying to figure it out. Because it's just, you know, I don't want it to be too clustered or anything. And I don't want anything blocking the entryway. And we're going to get a big uh, entertainment center. Oh, BTW. Got my nails done. Let me see if I'll focus. I got my hair. Let me do better. So I got my nails done at the salon here. And I tell you what, it was the most expensive nails I have ever gotten. Let's see? Uh, my toes. Orange. They're not really orange. They're just, I mean, they're kind of orange. They like freaking glow. <laughs> yep. But. Also, if you're looking for house shoes, Bear Claw is the freaking best. They look like Uggs, but they are Bear Claw and they are so affordable. Anyway, I paid $80 for my nails and my feet. So I will not be getting my nails done as often as I would like here, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we're gonna do an area rug too. Of course, a coffee table. And this might just be temporary. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. But this is our little setup. So cute. Right. Um, okay, and this is our room. Hi, sis. I'm trying to lose weight. I have lost 50 pounds since January, but I still have a ways to go. Anyway, um, my bed is a flipping disaster because of a puppy. She falls on the crack, so I have my pillow it's supposed to be back there to support all the others. Yada, yada, yada. This is my room. Our, me and my husband's room, our room. Still trying to learn the vocabulary. Uh, he picked out this candle, and it smells so amazing. Oh, essential oils. That's why it's so strong. Uh, it's uh, Bath and Body Works, obvi best of the best. Oh, look, I match my thing. I'm not really focusing. Okay. And then I have some wedding pictures hanging. Super cute. And then my husband got me this cross a couple years ago. Bathroom. I'll have to show y'all when I have her. I have um, all the lights turned on. It's so freaking cute. But yes, my life is a mess. My husband is, ugh, ugh. Anyway, well, you know, I should say, not a lot of people have husbands that, you know, make messes. And I was reading that in, where was it? I think it was like during 9-11, and it was like appreciating your husbands and how like, you know, some wives wish they had a husband to clean up after, and I just, it totally blew me away, because I've never really thought about it like that, and, you know, they wish they had someone that was leaving up the toilet seat, and, like, you know, you never know when they're going to be gone, and it was really, like, you know, it hit me hard, and I've been more grateful since then. Um, I wonder, oh, it's in my Chanel bag. I've been reading this book, and it's so good. I apologize for my hair, by the way. Um, I have been reading this book, and it is so good, y'all. So good. I really recommend it. Gary Thompson, Loving Him Well. It is a very, very, very good book. It's about, um, just, I don't even know, hold on. Um, it's about, like, you know, uh, having a better marriage and everything, and I don't know, just hearing a marriage from a guy's perspective was really, really nice. Um, look at my little fart. So cute. Actually, I want to put this by my bed. 
But anyway, yes, great book. And then this is the Bible study I'm doing. Uh, it's not supposed to be this way. On my Bible. It's Christian standard for those wondering. My lotion. <laughs> my freaking six foot long uh, charger. And uh, I have a cute little redone bag for my uh, markers and highlighters for my Bible. But yeah, I think so, that's that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I am trying to film more now that I'm here. I'm going to show you all the commissary, um, the gym that I've been going to here, and just all the really cool stuff about Georgia. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Find me on social media, Haley Hambright. There's hardly anybody in the world named Haley Hambright, so I'm pretty easy to find. All right, guys, I will see you later.